Hi, and uh, welcome to my video. Um, this is a new channel uh, about my 3D printing journey. So, uh, this video is going to be about a fan upgrade of the Creality CR10 V3. So stick around if you think your fans are too loud and wanting to replace them. So, regarding my 3D printing experience, so this experience actually started a few months ago uh, when I wanted to print a special device uh, that is related to uh, some of my music projects. So, uh, at that time, I didn't have much knowledge about 3D printing, and I was only looking at a large build plate. So, at first, I got the Creality Ender 6, because uh, looking at it, the build plate is decent, and also the printer is enclosed, uh, which means it's, it's also less likely that things can disturb it. But after using it for some while, um, I didn't do any modifications, I just used the stock parts. After using it for a while, I, I figured out that the build plate is still not big enough. Like, I wanted a larger build plate. So then, I returned the Ender 6 uh, because I, I bought it from a micro center, and then I got the CR10 V3. The CR10 V3 has a larger build plate, which is 300 by 300 millimeter and uh, 400 millimeter tall. But then there is this problem that came to mind. Um, that is, the fans are being too loud, um, especially the fans in the control box that are insanely loud. Um, and especially when you're running your prints overnight, it can get very irritating when you're trying to sleep. So I decided to replace all these fans inside the control box. So then uh, my idea is first, we're going to use a few. 120 millimeter fans, like the fans in your computer case, and we're going to use the Noctua fans since they're very quiet. They're pretty much the quietest fan you can find on the market. So we're going to use these fans, and we're going to completely replace the internal fans inside the original case. So uh, if you turn the control box around, and you can see that the, the original fan of the power supply is uh, very obstructed by two layers of sheet metal and that is definitely bad for the airflow and obviously it's going to create a lot of noise then we're going to open and investigate the control box so once we opened it uh, first you can see is the power supply once we open the power supply we can see that the 40 millimeter fan is running on 12 volts and the Noctua fan is 12 volts so that is not a problem however the fans inside the control box are actually 24 volts fans and that's when we have to work around it a bit there are two options that we can choose is firstly we can use a buck converter to convert the 24 volts into 12 volt however since we have two noctua uh, 120 millimeter fans then we are going to connect these two 12 volt fans in series and then the 24 volts should be suitable for these fans. So then we, we're going to test these fans and see if they're going to fit. Obviously we did some measurements and the 120 millimeter fans are going to fit very perfectly. It's just enough to fit into the control box. Once we determine that the fans are gonna fit, uh, we're going to 3D design the uh, mounting brackets for those fans. We're going to use the original thread where the original fans are mounted and make a bracket to sort of like maneuver around it to make a shape that supports the 120 millimeter fan. So when we're installing these brackets, some of the brackets are going directly onto the fan first, but some of the bracket you have to put it into the uh, control box first. So the, the two brackets that are going into the control box first are the thin bracket uh, that's shown in the picture and then the other one will be this slightly bigger bracket. So these two are going into the control box first. So it will go onto these places. So it will go onto the original screw thread that's shown in the picture. And make sure you screw in all the screws to make sure it's stable because we're dealing with uh, some spinning fans or there could be potential vibrations. So once you put into those brackets, the other brackets will go onto the fans first. If you do not count the parts on the left side in this picture, so you want to mount it as shown in the picture here, 
So this is the bottom of the fan. It will mount like this. Then this will be the top side of the fan, which will look like this. Uh, but do not screw in the two screws on the very edge of the grills yet, because we are going to screw the brackets that we previously mounted into the machine case first. So once you screw the brackets into place, now we're going to gently slide the fans into the control box. And make sure you get all the wires on the top so you can connect the power supply terminals. You want the previously installed brackets that are already in the control box. You slide these two brackets underneath the top fan grill of one of the fans. And then once you get the holes to align, then you screw in these two screws. So that's the one side of the fan done. But then here comes the tricky bit. Because we showed you this picture before. And you can see the H-shaped bracket is actually pointing towards the bottom. And that is going to be very tricky because you have to reach through the fan blades with the hex tool. And then you have to screw into the uh, sort of the original thread that comes uh, with the stock fan. You want to screw in there because you have to reach through the fan blade. And this can get very time consuming because the original Creality screws are actually not magnetic. So you have to be very patient with this. Once you eventually get these through and then your control box fans will be already in place. And then the next things you want to do is you want to uh, open the power supply case. Now make sure you discharge the capacitors in the power supply. That is very important because a lot of times I found these capacitors undischarged. You could get a really bad electric shock. This is very dangerous. So make sure you use an insulated tool uh, that is insulated between your hands and the tool, but conductive on the tip of the tool. You short out the two big capacitors on the mains voltage sides and you want to discharge those capacitors before you operate the power supply unit. Uh, you want to replace the original 40 millimeter stock fan in the power supply with the 120 millimeter fans. And since I don't have three Noctua fans, I'm just going to use this uh, NZXT fan um, in this case, uh, as it's also not too loud, but you can obviously use a um, Noctua fan if you want. And for this fan, we are going to figure out um, the positive and negative terminals. Obviously, you, you can always figure out these on your own. Uh, by searching up your corresponding fan's data sheet. But we, we will crop up the terminal that we don't need and only leave the positive and negative terminals. Here's the picture of the power supply. As you can see, uh, you just crop off the original terminal from the stock fan, and then you solder the new fan to the terminals as shown like this in the picture. And then you slide the heat shrink over the top of it and shrink it with the back of your solder iron or with heat gun or whatever you want to use to make sure there is proper insulation. And now what you want to do is you want to wire the original wires that's coming from the power supply terminals exactly as the original. You don't want to mess up this part. If you mess up this part, you can seriously damage your 3D printer and probably cause a fire, and even explosion. So this part is very dangerous. So make sure you know what you're doing. Once you wire them up, First you put the fan on the power supply, then you put the grill on top of the fan. But don't put in the screws yet. After you put the grills, then you put the two plates on the bottom, uh, on the edge of the control box, and make sure the fan is on the side where the display is. And then you put in the screws. The four screws that holds the fan, and also the original screws that goes onto the bottom plate. And those legs, the four legs that are sticking out, will help the airflow that goes into the fan and also reduce the noise. This is pretty much our entire fan upgrade here. And it will make your whole control box a lot quieter. So once you replace all the fans, as you can see, the noise is much quieter than the beginning. So I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you like my video, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you like my content, make sure you click on the notification bell and 
you will all be notified for my future updates. And thank you for watching.